All right, today I'm going to be installing this two gallon extra capacity supercharger intercooler system tank from Dedicated Motorsport Solutions. These are for all Gen 6 ZL1s. This will fit inside the driver's side fender well. right inside here for a nice stealth look and it also comes with a special funnel to get over here to this cap so if I'll show you this cap seals up nicely so it has a seal on the inside here which seals up right around this smooth part here, so no coolant can escape. Nice design, quality piece. And the fittings are AN style. So it's like your race equipment style stuff. And the hoses come with the kit, everything you need comes with the kit. All right, the first step obviously is to uh, Take the left front tire off. Once you do that, get it jacked up. You're gonna to wanna to take out all these inner inner fender wheel screws. These are T15 screws. Just keep going till you get all your screws out. Some of these are pushing clips, like that one. You'll need this tool to get those out. All right, once you get all your screws out of there, out of the fender wheel, there will be a uh, metal plate right here. You can hear it. Has to protect against uh, projectiles, sharp, heavy projectiles. The tire might pick up on the street and shove back towards the driver. <laughs> you just reach into here and pull that out. There you go. It's just a shield. It has your uh, attachment locations for the bolts. Right there and there, and there and there. All right. And now, you can pull out the inner fender wheel. Hopefully I can get mine out around this uh, splash guard. Yeah, I can. Uh, no problem. All right. All right. Now we got access up inside this fender. Where we're going to be putting our tank at all right get both my hands free and get this fender wheel out of my way be right back all right once you get the inner fender wheel completely out of there you'll see that you got complete access complete access through here and inside the fender right there that's where we're going to be putting our tank right up in there yeah, plenty of empty space in there waiting to be used for something good. All right, let's get it. All right, when you set your tank in here, there's a, there's a hole at the back of the tank that lines up with a stud coming through. And there's a piece of rubber inside the hole on the tank. Make sure the rubber stays in the back side of this tank part. You'll slide it over that stud and that, that positions this in here correctly. Push it all the way back. And then this hole right here should line up with the hole already in the body there and use the supplied uh, bolts and nuts and stuff that they gave you to install it. They gave you a bolt and nut for this one down here too, but you have to mark it with this back, holding it back. You have to mark it 
with a scribe or a magic marker on that flat surface right here. Just mark right in that eyelet there where you need to uh, drill your hole and pull your tank back out. Drill your hole so your bolt and nut will fit then put it back in there and then bolt it up. Mine's uh, bolted in and tight and as you can see it ain't moving. It ain't going anywhere. Yes sir. And you can see that see there's still a gap. Still a gap between the fender and the tank on the outside of the fender there. Still a gap there. So it's a good fit. And I mean it ain't going anywhere. It is in there, buddy. Alright, I'm gonna go on and put my hoses on now start to get this wrapped up alrighty I got my tank in bolted up and I got my lines routed and tightened up I'm gonna show you that right now that right there is the outlet the bottom side of the tank is the outlet side top of the tank is the inlet side all right my inlet I routed it right here it'll be right above the wheel well inner fender well which will hold it in place it'll stay above it and I wrapped it down and it will sit right here go right through there and that will go straight uh, to the supercharger uh, outlet port which I will show you will be this one will be that port and that's the hose right there that will be going into that port all right and the other one this one right here the outlet of the tank which will go right up through there Come right through there, right through your brake hoses, and around the strut tower. And I put mine behind these AC hoses here, and mine ends right here. And there's the fitting where you tap in to, uh, to this hose. You pull this hose off, put it on there, bring this one over and hook it up there that's it I got to get the right fittings because I'm gonna go uh, 8 in style fittings to uh, get it all right give it that nice race look too I already have them on this end so uh, that came with the kit All right, keep from making such a mess. And for easier access, I'm gonna go on and remove my uh, cold air intake. All right, after getting your cold air intake off, in order to keep from making a big mess, stuff a bunch of paper towels and rags all around where these ports are gonna be dripping. I'm gonna soak all that up. Then pull off your main hose right here, outlet hose off the supercharger. And let it drain. And I've got I've got my hose pinched off on this side. Use some clamps. Use whatever you got. And you can always plug the hose. Alright, continuing on. Yeah. Oh there we go. Let's pull the whole clip off be done with it. You know it's coming off now. Alrighty. And there we go. Done deal. Continuing on. 
All right, so now I've got my outlet hose from the supercharger out to the tank completed. That's a done deal. It routes right underneath the uh, cold air intake and just clears, just clears right here with no issues. Uh, I installed a T on mine here just so I could get a little bit more air that may be trapped in the top up here. All right, just got done with the hoses part of it. This is the outlet hose, goes to the tank. All the way back to the top of the tank. And the one coming out of the bottom of the tank it comes in right here and ties in right here. That was supplied three quarter to five eighths adapter fits right in your hose. I cut off my hose that goes up here, there to there. I cut off, let me show you, this much, just the right one, yeah. I cut off this much of my original hose to uh, make this connection with what they already had cut off and adapter already put on it. And it worked out good that way. This was straight right here, so it worked out really good. And this one, this is the inlet to the supercharger coolers. Uh, I took off, took off that much of that one to uh, adapt that one to this three quarter inch hose to put the AM fittings on to match up with this. And that's it. That's a done deal right there. It's tight. This is loose until you get some pressure on it, but it's clipped on, it's tight. And that one is too. And that's it. Now I'm gonna put my uh, cold air intake back on and fill up this uh, intercooler cooling system. All right. All right, all back together. Now it's time to fill the system. This is the little funnel that's supplied with the uh, with the uh, extra tank when you buy the tank assembly.